What's up, YouTube? So, it's uh, December 1st. Tomorrow will be officially open a year, so congratulations to us. Uh, a little insight into being an entrepreneur. Um, it's not easy. Um, I haven't taken in a paycheck in almost a year and a half. You know, uh, Steve Harvey said, you know, if you don't jump, you'll never know what it could be or what will be. But he said, your parachute won't open right away. And the thing is, I'm still waiting for my parachute to open. I'm a very lucky man. I'm a very blessed man. Uh, at the same time, I just want things to happen a little bit faster than they are. And that's kind of what I was talking about yesterday. Everybody wants to start out at the top. Everybody wants to found a, be a, a founder of a company. Everybody wants to be a millionaire overnight. And it just doesn't happen. You know, uh, I'm, pay I'm facing some financial troubles in my life. And, and the best thing I can say is, you know, I just, I don't know if you're spiritual. I don't, I don't care what you believe in. I don't care what deity or what greater power or, or if you even believe at all. But personally for me, um, I believe in God. You know, I'm a... I'm a I'm a child of Christ, and I know that. Um, so, you know, I, I believe that one day I'm going to be rewarded. One day that, you know, somebody's looking out for me up there and going to go, you know what? Let's, you know, he's working his ass off. You know, let, let's let him breathe. Getting that big break he's been needing, you know. The thing about business is it doesn't matter what business in you, there's shady people all over they're super sketchy people you know I dealt with one for a long time you know not gonna name names but you know he came in like hey you're my partner in this we're this blah 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 and the thing about it is you know he, sh he stiffed me for some cash you know I spent some money with him and you know I got, I got fucked over he delivered on about one fifth of what he promised and I'm out for money and I can't get a hold of the guy. And I could go and chase down and get uh, get the financial rewards from it. You know, I could get a lawyer involved. That's just money I don't have to spend on a lawyer that I need to try to keep to keep my head above water long enough for the new year to hit. So, guys, being an entrepreneur, you're not just going to wake up and open up a gym and people are just going to come to it. Like I thought they were, you know, shit's hard. Um, but it is what it is. You know, we're gonna keep moving. I'm gonna keep doing what I gotta do. Um, never stop grinding. Never stop believing in yourself. You know, the thing is, is like I've let things get to me. Um, I let personal things get to me. I've let uh, people say that I'm going out of business when I'm not. I'm. I'm not there yet, you know, I'm not giving up yet, I'm not ever going to, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fighter at the end, you know, and that's the one thing about me that will never change, is I'm a fighter, so, I want to see everybody at the Texas Cup, uh, you know, I want to see everyone show up and, and, and see what, what we got going on, I think that'd be really neat to have, and get to meet people, I'm going to vlog that day too. I'm going to vlog between now and then, but uh, I just want to be honest. I think that's the biggest thing is being honest with who you are and what you are. And, you know, if, if I could be a realist to anybody, you know, if someone's offering to help you or give you a leg up or anything like that, take it. But also take it with a grain of salt because your best interest isn't what they're, everyone's worried about. I've got some really good friends who uh, have given me some skills like Fitness VT. Those guys have done amazing. And they want nothing in return, which is very rare. They just want to see me succeed. But there are people out there. There are shady people. There are people that only thing they care about themselves, they, they disguise themselves as your best friend, but they're not. They're, they're shady people that Oh man, I'm, I got your back, but and they don't. And they'll take the money right out of your pocket. Hey man, we're gonna do this. We're gonna blah blah blah. We got this. We got that. 
And guess what? They ain't got shit. Most people who say they can do a whole bunch usually can't. It's usually the quiet man that's humble that makes it. He's the quiet man that's humble that believes in you and puts something there. That's that's the truth. You know, I just I'm kind of dumbfounded at it. I'm kind of dumbfounded at the way things go, but you know, I'm not giving up. And I don't think anybody else should, you know. If you believe in something, you should make it happen. So, if you guys got a chance, come out to 1083 Pruitt Road, Spring, Texas. Come see Legacy Barbell. Different kind of gym. We got machines. We don't get a lot of machines because I don't believe in machines. But we do have some different ones that really work. But the thing is, is it's all about growing. It's all about getting better. It's about finding something and getting amazingly better at it. And I think that's what really matters. So guys, word of the day, wisdom of the day is this. Don't believe in everyone that tells you that they're your friend. Don't believe in everyone that's there for you. You know, believe in yourself. Keep your circle extremely small. You are the direct representative of the five people you keep around you. And the problem is I kept the wrong five people around me for a little bit. Now I'm paying the consequences. Don't be shady. Be real and be humble with everyone. There will always be haters. Life is not easy. If you can put your nose down the grindstone and you can hustle and you can do everything you're supposed to do, it just gets better and better and better. And that's the information I'm going to leave y'all with today. I'm going to film some workout footage and all that, but I'm going to post this one separately because this is the truth. This is, this is real advice. To anybody thinking you want to own a gym, to anybody, unless you're a YouTube superstar and you have all the money coming in in the world you ain't ready you just aren't but if you got the good financial backing and you got the hustle and the grind and to work 18 hour, hours a day and to give up on sleep and to give up on a personal life I'm very thankful for the woman in my life I'm very thankful for all of her things she does for me but at the same time I can't this is going to be a rough year but we're going to make it we're going to make it happen so guys, uh, respect the grind, leave no doubt, have a good one. Big B, Moonshine Band, Suburban Noise.